Hello everyone, uh, welcome back. Hey, for the last four videos, we've, we've really been writing code. So hello world, or area of a circle, or the quadratic formula. And so every once in a while, it's good to stop and smell the flowers, so to speak, and kind of understand what we have been doing. And so what I'd like to walk you through today is the concept of expressions in Java. And you probably 80% get it from what we've been walking through. Um, but it's good to get this to 100% because expressions are used in you know, almost every line of code actually in, in Java. So what I wanted to do today in the video is define what an expression is, go through the majority of the expressions we have written in the last four uh, videos and show you how, um, where they are, how Java interprets uh, them. And, uh, and that's it. And then we'll just recap and, and end. Okay? All right, so let me describe what an expression is. An expression is really part of a Java line of code. It's not the whole uh, line of code. And I think it's best understood through some analogies, too. So if you think of the English language, uh, you have uh, a sentence, like, I'm going to the store after I eat. And that's a full sentence, a full thought. And uh, the sentence can have parts. And one part is called a phrase, like, uh, after I eat. And so after I eat, it sort of hangs together, it's part of the sentence, but it's not a full statement by itself. So if I would walk up to you and say, after I eat, you know, you might say, well, well what? What happens after you eat? Like, why, why are you telling me this? So it's really, it kind of hangs together, you know, after I eat, something could happen, um, but it's not a full uh, sentence. So expression is like that in, in Java. So the full line of code in Java is called a statement. Okay, so like set, assigning the area equal to the radius squared uh, times pi. So that would be a whole statement, and like a sentence ends with a period, uh, uh, statements in Java end with a semicolon, as you probably noticed. And the right side of the equal sign, this is called an expression. And basically, uh, this is a numeric expression, so this, these, you know, this section evaluates to a number, that number is set into the area uh, variable. So it's really part of this uh, Java line of code, and we'll go through examples in a sec. Another example would be in math, if you have something like this with the equal sign and things on both sides, that's called an equation. Okay, so that's an equation. And then one side of this, that, that it, given a value for x can, uh, can end up being a number, is an expression. So this is a math expression, 3x plus 7, uh, and there are many like that. Um, but the whole thing together is an equation. So expression is really part of a line of code in Java that evaluates to a number, or evaluates to true-false, or evaluates to a string. Um, those are, those are a couple, uh, couple examples. And, uh, and it makes up a building block of a Java statement. So what I'm going to do now is I'll erase the board, I'll write on uh, the statements we've done, we've done so far, and we'll walk through them. So I collected up five different um, expressions we used in the last four videos. And what I wanted to do is kind of walk you through them and show you the way Java treats those. So let's start actually with the second, uh, second one. This is the one we did first. So one way an expression is used is as an argument to a method. Now argument and method I'll teach you later, so you may not have understood that. But you can think of it as things between parentheses. So Obviously, when you do system.out.println, whatever you put in parentheses is sent out to the screen, and you have noticed that. So that, that really, what happens in the parentheses is what Java is going to do when it sees this, it's going to evaluate this expression first, and then pass its answer, this is a numeric expression, so it will be a number in the end, pass that number to this method to go ahead and print it out to the screen. So the way it's going to do that is just like you would do it. In, uh, in math. So um, the plus and the multiplication are called operators in Java. And operators go in certain orders, like you know from math. So multiplication goes before uh, addition. So what it's going to do, it's going to take the 7 times the 49, and it's going to replace that with uh, 343. And then it's going to take the 5, and then it's going to do its next operator in line, the 5 plus 343. It's going to replace that with the 347. And then it'll pass that 347 into this method to go ahead and do its thing, which is print something to the screen. So it's basically successively does parts of the expression 
uh, until it has a single number and then it's done evaluating the expression. So if you look at uh, this one, uh, expressions are also used as the right side of an assignment statement. So this single equal sign in Java is an assignment statement and it basically assigns whatever the value of the expression is on the right to the variable on the left. That's what the equals does. So uh, what it's going to do to evaluate this expression is multiplication if there's a lot of them or, or division, it goes left to right basically. So it sees a variable, radius, and what it does is it looks up, that variable is a box, it looks at the value that's in that box and replaces this with the value. So let's say the user typed in 10 in our program and the radius was set to 10. So to replace this with a 10, it'll do the same here, replace this with a 10, and then it'll do 10 times 10, replace this with a 100, and then 100 times 3.14, and replace the whole thing with a 314. So it's evaluating the expression on the right, and then it's going to take that and put it into the area variable. Okay? Simple enough? Okay. The next one is a little bit uh, different because you're used to numeric uh, operators so far. Plus, minus, multiplication, and division. And you know how those work. This, the rules are the same as in regular math. Um, but uh, this is a, a conditional uh, operator, and so, or a logical operator, or a Boolean uh, operator. And so what it does is it compares the one side with the other side, and it returns either true or false. So this is uh, also uh, called a Boolean expression. And in Boolean logic, there are two answers, true and false. So what it does is it evaluates the left, whatever the discriminant was, let's say it's 7, um, it already has a valuation here, so is 7 greater than 0? If it is, it replaces this expression essentially with the word true. The word true is a special keyword in, in Java, uh, so it replaces with true or false. And then the rest of the if statement can continue. So if this is true, it's going to run this code here. If this is false, it's not going to run that, that code. So that's, so these were numeric expressions. This one was a um, Boolean expression. And you know it's a Boolean expression because it uses different, different operators. The operators here are things like less than, greater than, oh, I did that backward, greater than, less than, greater than or equal, less than or equal, or equal. And remember in Java, equal is a double equal for this, uh, this operator. So the next one is actually, you can see it's a combination of math and, uh, and a Boolean operator here, a logical operator. And what Java does is it does the, the numeric operators first and does the Boolean operator last. So this ends up being a Boolean uh, expression because, uh, because of the order of events. So it's first going to do this part. So let's say b squared minus 4ac again is 7. So it'll evaluate that doing the multiplication, then doing the subtraction, and come up with a numeric answer. And then what was a numeric expression over here becomes a number, and the whole thing becomes a Boolean expression, is 7 greater than, than 0. So again, this will evaluate to true. So expressions uh, can be numeric, they can be Boolean expressions, or in a sense they can be a combination. Uh, and the combination will yield a Boolean expression in the end after the numbers are, are determined. And the, the last one I just wanted to, uh, to show you is when there's a method call uh, in the middle. So the way this is going to work is, just like in math, um, uh, Java will favor parentheses first. So it'll do whatever is in parentheses regardless of the other uh, rules. So it sees parentheses here, 2 times a. So let's say that is um, 4. Uh, it sees these parentheses, so it'll evaluate this thing. Uh, let's say that evaluates to 16. Then what it's going to do, it's going to do this method call, because uh, it sends these are parentheses as well. So if there's a method call here. It's going to take the square root of 16, and it's going to replace this with 4. Okay. It's going to replace the b with whatever that was. Let's say it's, uh, I don't know, minus 3, or b was 3. So it's going to do minus 3 
plus 4, and this will evaluate to 1, divided by 4, and the whole thing evaluates to 0.25. So, um, so that's the way that works. When you have a method call in there, it's going to evaluate what's in the parentheses, so the expression as its argument, and then it's going to call the method, and uh, many methods return something. So in this case, it returns the square root, so it'll replace that whole thing with the square root of the, of the answer, and then it'll just keep evaluating. So that's the way, that's the way expressions are evaluated. There's an there's a order of precedence, it's called. Uh, parentheses go, uh, go first, then math expressions go in the order that uh, you assume uh, that you learned in, uh, in math, multiplication, division, then, uh, then addition, subtraction. And then you had the Boolean uh, expressions, which go, uh, which go next. So, um, so let me, I'm going to race and, and just uh, summarize. Okay, so to summarize the vocabulary that we've gone through in this Lesson. So we talked about uh, expressions, so that's part of a Java statement, a really important part. And they're used as arguments to a method. They're used as the right-hand side of an assignment statement, where you're setting a variable uh, equal to something. And they're used in conditional logic, like part of the if statement, again, between the uh, parentheses, that gets evaluated to a true or a false. So expressions are used uh, in those three uh, places, and you'll see them uh, all over Java, so that's why I took time to, to smell the flowers in this case. So expression is part of a Java uh, statement, and the whole, a whole line of code, in a sense, is a statement, a whole complete thought uh, that ends with a semicolon, and that's a statement. Uh, we looked at two different kinds of expressions, so numeric expressions evaluate to a number, and Boolean expressions evaluate to, to a true or a false, a Boolean value, uh, basically, a true or a false. And then the way Java works its way through evaluating expressions is through looking at these operators and doing these operators in order. So there's a certain operator precedence, just like you learned in, in math. So parentheses always come first. So it'll hunt, hunt for that, and that's identical to math. Multiplication uh, and division come next. Left to right, uh, which matters in division. Uh, plus and minus come next. Uh, in, in the order, and all of this is identical to what you've learned in math. There's nothing, nothing new here. Uh, and then lastly, the Boolean uh, operators. So less than, greater than, less than or equal, greater than or equal. Um, you know, there's, there's more, than, more than these which we'll cover, but basically the comparison operators uh, come, come next. And you can have a Boolean expression that has a numeric expression in there like we saw. So you might do a calculation. Is that calculation less than another calculation. So the numeric sides will evaluate those numeric expressions and then it becomes a Boolean expression to evaluate in the end. So it gets a little, little tricky, but, but uh, as long as you understand the way Java is thinking about it and the way it's evaluating it, you'll get a sense of how to write, how to write working code. And parentheses are your friend. You know, if you're ever confused about what's going to happen, uh, just use parentheses and it'll force the, the system to go in the order that, that you want. Okay, that's it. Hope that was uh, helpful, and I'll talk to you soon.